It's been just under a month since former Brainerd Warrior and NDSU Bison Joe Haig began his NFL career with the Indianapolis Colts. And it seems like Haig has had no problems adjusting to life in the NFL. After getting picked in the fifth round, Haig was listed as the second string left guard for the Colts' first preseason game. And although he said he has made some mistakes thanks to camp, the speed of the game hasn't been a problem. We've been practicing crazy hard you know, uh, during training camp and everything, so it was almost kind of, we kind of took a step back, you know, with, with at least the speed, you know, like you get out there and you just play hard, you know, I mean, if you make a mistake, if you, you know, block the wrong guy, just go do it 100 miles an hour, you know what I mean? So it's been, uh, it was just fun to kind of go out there and I definitely made you know, a lot of mental mistakes, but it's something that, you know, you just keep, uh, go find someone to hit them, you know, it's just uh, something to keep, uh, you know, finish the block. Haig also prides himself on being flexible and being able to play multiple positions. During Saturday's preseason win over Buffalo, Haig was listed as the backup left guard, but also saw action at left tackle. I think one of the things I was trying to sell the teams when I was going through the draft process was that I'm, I'm flexible. I'm able to, you know, mentally understand, you know, the different positions and something that, you know, physically I'm capable of doing. And it's just been, uh, you know, something that I continue to work on. And obviously, yeah, you know, especially the first couple of years in the league, you know, being able to step in any position is huge. And uh, it's been something that's been, uh, you know, I've been proud of what I've been doing, but also I need to keep improving. Hag and the Colts' next preseason action will be this Saturday when they host the Baltimore Ravens. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.